Now that we've completed the list car sequence diagram, which represented a detailed requirements from the manage inventory use case, we will complete the UML design by adding additional information to the spring stereotype classes, which will be represented as the appropriate annotations in our generated code shells. We start out with the domain. Uh, we'll open up the properties panel for it. And you'll notice that I've already created some attributes for the domain object car. And they have Java uh, type of string. And what we're interested in here is adding additional information to the vehicle identification attribute. And what we're going to do is apply ID uh, stereotype to it. And this will generate the appropriate annotations in the domain object and also create our primary key class. Next, we'll move into our DAO. And for our DAO, you'll notice that we have find all cars, which was created as a result of creating the sequence flow diagram. And in here, we're going to add a stereotype to that find all cars operation. And in this case, we're interested in adding a named query. And this, when it generates, will generate the appropriate annotations. And additionally, what we want to do here is actually define the query that's going to be implemented. So we'll add the query here. So select my car from car, my car. And this will get generated along with the class. Now that we have the stereotype defined and some specific information, we also want to identify the parameter that we want to pass into this operation. So this is going to be an out. And the parameter name is going to be cars. And the type that we're interested in is the car stereotype domain object. And we expect get uh, multiple car objects back. So we save this. So we're done with the DAO layer. And the one last thing that we're going to do is actually connect it to the domain object that it's going to be responsible for. So we'll select the existing car domain object. And now it has a reference to that. So we have DAO and domain done. We'll move up to the service. And in the service, you'll notice we have load cars. Again, this was an operation that we defined when we created our sequence diagram. So what we're interested in here is adding a stereotype of transactional operation. And once we have the stereotype defined, we're going to identify the parameters that we want on this operation. So again, this is going to be an out. And we'll give it a parameter name of car output. And the type is going to be our car stereotype domain object. And we're expecting multiple to come back. So we've identified that. And the last thing that we'll do is we'll define the attribute for it. So this car stereotype, we're going to create a directed association to some existing objects. So the first one will be the car DAO. And we'll also create a reference to the uh, non-stereotype class of the fit that we created. And this just shows that when we generate, we'll actually generate the non-stereotype classes and the stereotype classes uh, side by side. So the service DAO and domain layers are done. And we'll finish up by doing the web layer. So in the web, we have controller. Again, you'll notice that we have list cars as an operation that we defined during the creation of the sequence diagram. And we're going to apply a stereotype to this one as well. And the stereotypes here for a controller in the spring MVC pattern is going to be a request mapping. And we'll add additional information to this request mapping. So we'll identify uh, what the intercept URL is going to be. So we'll say index car.html. And we'll identify what do we want the view to be. So the view is going to be web inf pages car list cars. 
Jsp. And you notice that uh, by implementing this pattern, we're hiding the implementation of JSP uh, through an intercept of HTML. And now that we have that defined, the last piece here for the class itself will be defining the parameters. So again, this is going to be an out. And in the out, it's going to be cars. And the type that we're interested in is the car domain object. And it has a multiple of many. We'll save that. And the last step that we'll do is create the connection between this controller and the service that we want it to invoke, which is the car DAO, a car service. And at this point, we've completed the design using the spring stereotypes so that when we transform and generate, we'll transform and generate a spring architected code shell and the spring DSL.